welcome to Kaleidoscope Toy and Miniature Australian Shepherds. We're having a very rare North Carolina ice event. Can't really call this snow because there's no, there's nothing sticking to the trees. So this is really ice. But as far as these puppies, as, these, as far as these dogs are concerned, I, I left the puppies at home. Um, it's snow and it's fun and it's white and it's fluffy and they are having a great time. Did you just get in that water, Nikita? It is 25 degrees out here. Yeah. <laughs> you like this, don't you, Nikita? Uh-oh, see, look at that. Laddie's getting in that ice water. It's actually frozen over the top. I didn't bring um, the two little Border Collie puppies. This is just too dangerous for them. You have to be really careful that your dogs don't get too cold and your puppies don't get too cold. We're only going to do this for about a half an hour and then they're going to go back in the heat. But oh, I just wanted to share our little bit of a, of a snow event or ice event. This is actually going to get pretty bad. And uh, there's going to be big power outages. They say we're going to get high winds. And later we're going to get freezing rain that's going to bring down trees and that kind of thing. But right now, it is nothing but fun. That's why I should have brought a ball. Okay, we can't make this all fun and games, so i got to give you some safety tips. Hi, <laughs> Matt. Hi, Matt. I don't know if you can see Matt. Matt, are you happy? Matt, Matt. Matt, are you happy? Anyway. Um, if you have a new puppy, you want to be really careful about getting it out in these kind of conditions. They can get hypothermic really fast. And even adult dogs that are not used to it, you know, we don't have this kind of weather here usually. So, yeah, I'm going to let them have a good run and I'm going to take a good hike. But none of us <laughs> are real used to this. I wouldn't be out here under these trees if there was heavy snow because a branch or a tree could fall on us. That seems to be a... Um, a pretty common cause of death here in North Carolina is tree falling on somebody or a branch. But so you know, just use your common sense. And the other thing is, I use uh, I use water softener salt for ice melt. I don't use any of the ice melt products because a lot of them are toxic to dogs, and even the ones that aren't toxic for dogs are a lot more expensive than just using plain old water softener salt. So, <laughs> Matt. I think this is Matt's kind of weather. This your kind of weather, boy? Uh-huh. You're being rude, but I'm gonna let you today. They're taking a holiday from good manners today because we're having snow. We're having fun. This is like a bunch of little kids getting out of school for a snow day, so. Anyway, just be careful out in this weather with your pet and uh, make sure you're keeping your pet safe and warm. Don't let those feet get, uh, you know, too cold. Don't let any kind of signs of shivering, your dog's too cold, period. You want to get them warmed up and and uh, be careful about that ice melt. But that's all. I'm just not going to say anything more negative on this video because we're here to have some fun. When we get it, we enjoy it. I think people with, with dogs, particularly over cats, because cats don't have to walk, um, get out in all kinds of weather and because you get out in all kinds of weather you see a lot of conditions and feel a lot of conditions that most people are sitting home cozy behind their computer screen they are not i mean my my nose is cold my face is cold my hands are cold i can hear the ice crackling in the trees and the dog's breath they're running they've got ice on their backs and you know i'm just taking it all in I try to enjoy all four seasons, and uh, winter is usually our mildest. We usually don't see any kind of white precipitation, very rarely, so taking it all in today. My dog's out in the snow, we're out in the woods, and we're gonna do a little bit of a warm-up workout. I'm gonna see which of these dogs wanna do it with me. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Back it up. One, two, three, four. Forward. One, two, three, four. Side. Side. See, I should have got it my way. Side. Side. They got to pay attention. Pivot and one, two, three, four. Pivot and one, two, three, four. I'm going to maybe start doing some... I've been watching some pretty bad exercise with your dog videos, and I think I'm going to get serious about it. Or you can do some leash work that's going to really sharpen your dog up on the leash but also give a little bit of a workout which really dog training is workout but I'm going to try to put together for 2022 some fun workout videos that you can do with your dog anyway thanks so much for watching our snowy day and thank you to those who missed us for a few days and wrote in and said hey where is there a video it takes a long time you know, it takes a two or three hours to put a video together. And some days I just don't have time. It's been pretty busy and we knew this ice storm was coming and uh, we've been getting ready for that. I have a lot of animals here to take care of and a lot of responsibility, so. And then I went to an agility trial yesterday and watched one of Shelby's pups, Shelby and, um, and Betty, who she's retired, watched one of her puppies at an agility trial yesterday. and. I've just been doing other things. Uh, of course, the videos are going to keep coming, but I can't do one every day. It's it's two, three hours out of my day every single time, and that's just with the editing, and uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying I think uh, some people think I'm going to post a video every day, and I, I can't do that. I'll try, and I also don't want to post videos that, just to post a video. I want to I want to post information for you that is helpful to you, you know, entertaining to you, hopefully, but also helpful for you. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Come on, you guys.